So he is back. Our UFC insider, UFC heavyweight Brandon Vera in the studio with good us. Morning, good How's morning. Going, good morning, Brandon. Everybody, very, very well. Thank you, know, you. It's always trips me out because at this point, you know, you and I and, and everybody on the show, <laughs> we've become just friends more than anything. Yes, sir. And when I see you actually in the like UFC news, it trips. It like trips me out, and I'm like, hey, I know that dude. And that's kind of what happened this past week. Is uh, I was reading one of these websites, and uh, and they were just talking about you and where you're at, you know, with your injury and. Stuff. Stuff like that, and they actually were talking about Carrie, your wife, and her wanting to fight again, and all that stuff. That's cool. Yeah, so I mean, it was it was cool just I, to I hear that. Seen it. I know. I gotta, I'll show you. <laughs> that's that's me. I'm that that's guy. Cool, you know, man. reading all about you. Um, even though I already knew all the details and stuff like that. But uh, but yeah, they were saying you know you're you're how excited you are about you know wanting to get back in there and fight and and you know that you're as soon as you can start punching again and things like that that you're going to be back in there and that Carrie is training again. Your wife, yeah. you know, and obviously with the experience explosion of women's MMA, oh, yeah. your wife, uh, Carrie, for people that don't know, had a couple of pro MMA fights, and she destroyed the people, and everybody was like, oh my gosh, here we go, <laughs> and then she had a back injury and stuff like that to where she stopped training and fighting, yes, but is she back at full health to where she can train again? Or She is training, but I won't say she's back at full health. Okay. It's, uh, there's certain things that still bother her back, but she's trying to work through them, and and we just take it day by day for her training, you know. Sometimes she goes really hard and she looks perfect. Then the next day she's like, oh, my back hurts. I, I have to wait a little yeah. bit. I have to wait a little bit. So, But is the goal to maybe get back into fighting? It's up to her back. That's yeah. what she says every day. She yeah. says she loves training. And the, the days that we have hard to hard good days, she loves. But when it's her back's hurting and she can't even stand up off the couch, she's yeah. miserable. So, Well, and what's cool about her, I too. Hope, yeah. But, but we'll see. What's cool about her is that she has... <laughs> You know, those those fights that, you know, everybody was talking about. <laughs> and then she has the name value, too, being that, you know, she's married to you. For sure. And all that stuff, all that comes with it. So I can guarantee you, if she gets back into it, I mean, the UFC would come calling real quickly. That would be, yeah. That which would, would be, be awesome. cool, pretty that cool. That would be really awesome, for sure, yeah. I mean, which would be the the first husband and wife duo oh in God. the UFC. <laughs> that would be nice. How, how trippy would that be? That would be super nice. Yeah. All right, so that let's... be amazing. Yeah, so Brandon, let's talk about the fights this weekend, UFC on Fox. Please, uh, we on had Fox. Say it again, on Fox. On Fox, which is free. <laughs> free. Um, we had Mr. Benson Henderson on the show this week, for talking sure. to him a little bit about, you know, coming off a loss. Mm -hmm. which is very difficult, especially if you were the champ. You yes, know, sir. Having the belt and defending it and then losing it, having to come back and fight, and you're not even getting an immediate rematch. You've got to work your way back in. How difficult that must be. I can only imagine. You know, like That's something that I, I never had to deal with, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and it's just any loss is hard. But for him, the loss last time wasn't a bad loss. He got caught. He got caught. In Grant, armor, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not taking away anything from... From Mr. Showtime. Mm -hmm. But he got caught. You know, he got caught. He didn't get beat up. He didn't get wore down. He didn't get pushed around in the cage. So it wasn't a bad loss. It was just he got caught. Right. So now he's fighting another person, Mr. Mr. Thompson, that has the ability to catch somebody. He mm -hmm. has the ability to catch him on the feet. He has the ability to catch him on the ground. So he's going to have to take some precautions. But if he fights the way he normally does, Mr. Benson Henderson... I, I think I think he will walk away the victory with the victory that night. Well, you know what's interesting to me is the mental aspect of it. Like you've seen this before, where guys who had the belt and came back and had to fight again, aka like Rashad Evans. Yes, sir. And they just didn't seem as into it. You know, if they're yeah. not fighting for the title or defending the title, it's almost like, well, what's the point? You know, I think I think a lot has to do with it. Uh, everything from the mental aspect to the financial aspect mm -hmm. to maybe the desire aspect. Right. You know, it just it could be a lot. I have never been in that, that situation. You, you've so. been in situations, though, <clears throat> where mentally you weren't ready to fight. Yes, sir. Like, and, and how do you get through that? Like You have to realize that the person that you're going to get into the cage with, whether you respect them or not, or that's the opponent you decided or wanted to fight, like, and they want to knock your head off. They're going to knock you out, so yeah. you, you need to get yourself in gear. Yeah. So that, that's yeah. kind of what you, you tell yourself every day. Yeah. Just because you're not serious about it or you think that you're better than the guy or for whatever reason, whatever's going through your head, that guy, remember, is trying to put you down mm -hmm. that day. So 
as long as you can keep that in the back of your head, you can keep pushing forward and, and make it happen. And they're all world class. Everybody all that's in the that. UFC is, is world class <clears throat> fighters. So there's no easy fights in the UFC. There is no more easy fights, man. None. None. Zero easy fights yeah. in the UFC. And, and this is, again, no disrespect to Josh Thompson because he's ranked number four in the world. Oh, you know. And, and so Josh Thompson is a beast himself. Well, people <laughs> maybe don't know Josh as well because he fought in, in the early days of the UFC, went to Japan and traveled and fought in a lot of different organizations, and then when the UFC purchased Strike Force, he came back to the UFC, mm-hmm. and his first fight in kicked uh, Nate Diaz head off. Yes, which is a tough thing to do because Nate Diaz has never been finished in the UFC. Mm-hmm. Josh Thompson finished him. Yep. So talk a little bit about what Josh Thompson brings to this fight. You know, Josh Thompson is a fireball. I think he's. I would describe him as a big Dominic Cruz. Like he doesn't stop moving. He likes to go a lot, really hard. And he's from AKA, a very world-renowned, respected team. He um. He brings it every time, and you never have to worry about whether or not Mr. Thompson is going to come in flat that day. Yeah. He's never came in flat any fight that I've ever seen. He's just always so he'll be prepared. going. Yes. He will be there. Yeah. He will be in Mr. Henderson's face every every second of the fight. Yeah. Now, if if you were looking at the fight, and you you know you say if, if Benson trained properly and he has his head straight, he's going to win the fight, where do you see it going? Do you see this being a stand-up fight or going to the ground? I see it being a stalemate on the ground, but I see the stand-up portion uh, being Mr. Henderson's favor, yeah. uh, in his favor. Right. Hmm. And it, and it's a five-round main event, and Benson Henderson is used to five-round fights being the champ, so that might be in his favor, too. It could be in his favor, but Mr. Th- I've seen Mr. Thompson fight Gilbert Melendez in a five-rounder. That's true. And they went until the referee jumped in the last round, yeah. last second. They were still throwing balls. And they were still ready to yeah. swing. So That's a good point. He's, he's going to be in shape. He's going to be in shape. I just think uh, the power is going to be a different factor. You know, uh, Mr. Thompson's a lot, I want to say faster. He's a lot quicker. Mm-hmm. He's for sure a lot quicker. But Mr. Henderson, he's the only dude that ever held pads for it at his weight class that has uh, hurt my forearms. Wow. Like, he's kicking through the pads into my bone. Yeah. And I definitely didn't expect it from him. And I was like, what? <laughs> Do that again. Yeah. Do this again. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, my God, man. He kicked like a heavyweight. Yeah. Nice. Wow. So he's, he's got them big Asian legs. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt about it. And, and you know, the thing about it is, you know, he, he's fought that competition, and he, he's used to the spotlight. So it's going to be a good fight. I'm really looking forward really to this excited. one. It's going to be a scrap. That's going to be a good, good, good fight, man. Uh, the co-main event is Ooh-wee. a fight in your division, the heavyweights Ooh-wee. going at it. You got our boy Stipe, Stipe oh. Miocic, Stipe. who uh, we hung out with in Vegas a little bit. That guy's a maniac. Uh, he's taking on Gabriel Gonzaga, who's on a bit of a win streak himself. What do you? How do you see this fight going down? You know, the person with the the faster, more agile guy is Stipe mm-hmm. for sure. But Gonzaga has that super. I don't know what where he gets that power from. He's got that super knockout power mm-hmm. when he's focused. Um, we've seen we've seen Mr. Gonzaga do his thing when he's on a run, especially when it, when he's destroying people. He just seems to get on a, a roll and get going. But Stipe, I think, is the smarter boxer, mm-hmm. and I think he's going to use that to his advantage. If Gonzaga takes Stipe to the ground and can control him on the ground, it could be a long night for That's Stipe. a different world. Yeah. Gabriel Gonzaga is a high-level black belt Brazilian jiu-jitsu yes, artist. Sir. And so he does, you don't see him a lot. No, no, no. Because he likes to bang. Yes, sir. He loves to bang. But if he's getting caught, I'm thinking by Stipe, if he's getting caught on the feet a little bit, he'll take it to the yeah. ground. People say that about you, too. They're yeah. like, you know, why is this guy always standing? He's a, he's a great wrestler, and he's got yeah. you know skills it's in jiu-jitsu. It's more fun. It is more fun. Yeah. I, you know, it is more fun. And you can hear the crowd behind you. you. It's more fun. Like when you hit somebody and they couldn't block it or they, they, can't, they can't believe. You can see in their face. They can't believe that you just hit them. Yeah. It's a good feeling, man. You know, I mean, a good, good a good ground fight is, is fun to watch. But you can't top a good stand-up fight, you a can't. war. You can't. Those are for a crowd. That's, I mean, everybody loves that. Now, you talk about having the crowd behind you. So does that influence how you perform? You know what? Uh, on the feet, I think it makes a huge difference because the really? crowd's going. It kind of, it's like your boys egging you on. I guess it would be like in the back, mm-hmm. but uh, on the ground, it, it's kind of the same. But it's a, it's, it's a different feeling. It's well, a totally different feeling. But if you can accomplish having that crowd behind you, it's kind of like your hype man. It helps, yes, man. It's like your hype man. Yes, <laughs> totally yes. Yeah, that's, cool. <laughs> that's cool. You know, at one point, I believe Brandon, they had you paired up against Gabriel Gonzaga and said that that might be a fight down in the future. For you, 
Um, which would that to me is a really interesting matchup. Very, with very you good guys. Matchup. I would like to see that. I'm in. Yeah, well, I, mean, yeah, I, I, I can say any name right now, Brandon I'm Eby, in. and I'm you're ready in. to fight, man. <laughs> uh, one of your teammates, Little Jeremy, Heathen, Jeremy Stevens. He's Jeremy also on the Stevens. main card. On he's had card. quite an explosive uh, run at 145. He's won his first two fights there. He's taken. No, 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 no. He didn't just win. Sorry, I, I didn't mean You're to right. tell anybody. He didn't You're just right. win his first two fights. He destroyed his first two opponents. He <laughs> kicked the head off of his last opponent. Wow. Uh, so Jeremy Stevens is on a nice roll, and he's taking on a top 10 guy in Darren Elkins. Yes, sir. What do you think about that fight? I think it's a great fight, especially if Jeremy's on a roll. Mr. Elkins is a tough, tough opponent, you know? Good wrestler. Good wrestler. A lot of people are, t are picking him, but, you know, Jeremy's from Alliance. It's not a game out where we're at. And mm -mm. He's, he's ready. He's Ever since he dropped to 145, his whole mentality has changed. His family life has gotten closer, and his his diet is even super strict. And, you know, it doesn't sound like a big deal. You know, I say, oh, his diet's even strict. Man, it's a big thing oh, for yeah. a fighter. There's stressors everywhere, like uh, yeah. from your family, from training, from friends and everything. And for you to be even be on top of your diet the way he is, even though he's got a crazy family that pulls him everywhere and he hangs out with them all the time, like, they go to some nice places, dude, like the kids' parks and all these different uh -huh. family things. And he's still eating good, you know? It's it's amazing to, to see do. how grown up or how far progressed Mr. Yeah. Lil Heathen yeah. Stevens is. He's mature performed. Yeah. as a fighter, and you have to do that. You've done that. A lot of guys that we've talked to, they go through that process. Yeah. Where you got to learn, like, this isn't just, you know, me training every day, going through the motions and stuff like that. It's a lifestyle. It's a life-changing life thing. Yes, sir. Sure Eating is. right, training right, the whole thing. Yes, sir. Living right. Yeah, it is. Oh, I thought you, I thought you raised your hand. Oh, no, no. Were you just I, picking your nose? No, well, Eddie, I had an eye booger. Oh, so my bad. My bad. Eye booger. Uh, uh, yeah, out. so this is going to be a good fight, man. A good fight card coming up this weekend. Next week, we got to talk about the big, uh, you know, they've, they've made it a tradition now, the UFC, to have a huge fight card on Super Bowl weekend. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. They didn't put it together. Yeah, yeah. so there is a big one. Two title fights. Coming up and so next do they weekend. Do it Saturday night, like a, how? Yeah, the day it's, before. It's, they, yeah. So it's like a big pre-party. So you have a huge it's, sports exactly. weekend. It's amazing. Oh it's my amazing. god. Exactly. It's, it's Vegas is. This is in Vegas. Yeah. Yes. It's, oh yeah. Every, it, they've done it in Vegas. It's just it's nuts. No, actually, this was in New Jersey. This is the one they're doing in New, Jersey, in New Jersey, which makes yeah. sense because oh, that's where the Super, Super Bowl is. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I have seen them in in Vegas the the day before the Super Bowl, and they gets crazy. <laughs> Packed already. So right? that vibe right. there, the energy's already there. Yeah. So New Jersey and the Super Bowl's there. I can only Oscar imagine. I can only yeah. imagine the fact there are there. two titles on the line. Yeah, we're gonna two. we're gonna get into that next week. Wow, no right, doubt about yes, it. There's two. Right on, right on. <laughs> all right, Will Brandon, we'll talk to you next week with all these fight cards coming up. Right. Thank you very.